welcome to this tutorial. We'll explore how to transform a Laravel web application into a desktop application using the powerful EXE output for PHP software. Laravel, as you might know, is an open source PHP framework widely used. On the other hand, EXE output for PHP is a tool that compiles PHP applications into executable files for Windows. This means you can convert your web application into a standalone native desktop application, eliminating the need for a local or remote web server. We'll guide you through the necessary steps to achieve this conversion, ensuring your application is easy to distribute and parts of your source code remain protected. Let's dive in and get started. For this, we have on the EXE output website a project application already available at the address indicated below in the video description, and that we have downloaded here. You just need to download it too. Extract it directly into the directory where you downloaded it. Thus, a subdirectory Laravel will be added. You can even complete the application with your own files later. We will use this example to explore the possibilities and especially how to configure EXE output for PHP so that the application can work correctly. First, let's explore a little the archive. Unzip and the structure. As you can see in the directory, there are several EXE output projects, a demo application, and instruction file. We will see this later. In the SRC directory, which contains as its name indicates the source files, we can find the different files that we will compile into the final executable file. The interest being, of course, not to distribute all these files directly to the client, but to compact them into a single executable file to ensure a minimum of protection. Because let's remember that one of the interests of EXE output for PHP is that the source files, in particular some like the ENV file, are not directly accessible to the end user. And also to protect our application against illicit copies. Let's now look at the data directory. This directory serves as a sort of root directory for the virtual server managed internally by EXE output for PHP. These are the files that will not be compiled into your executable and will therefore be external and accessible. This data directory is also used to store all the files that can be modified by Laravel. In particular, in the storage directory, but also the large vendor directory with all the dependencies and its thousands of files that do not need to be protected, as these resources are available in the base distribution of Laravel. By doing so, we will avoid overloading the internal server memory of EXE output and slowing down our application. Remember that the files are compiled into the EXE and compressed. Therefore, the app needs to decompress them during execution and this adds extra time. Now that the structure presentation is done, let's move on to the project. In the SRC directory, a subdirectory called example app contains the example application itself. Notably, we find the Doton file and an artisan.exe file, which is used to execute artisan commands without requiring an external PHP distribution. Of course, this artisan file will not be distributed or compiled into the final application. It is only for internal management. The public directory serves as the entry point for the public and contains the index.php file which will serve as the homepage for our desktop application. Let's get back to the project. As you can see, we already have a ready-made EXE application provided with the example. We will launch it to see what it looks like. After a few moments, the website is displayed. This is indeed the basic example provided with Laravel version 11, running with a PHP 8.3 distribution. It runs in a fully customized application. See for yourself, you have a skin that you can modify and likewise, you can change everything using the various options in EXE output for PHP. This is one of the key points of the compiler, namely the customization of absolutely all parameters. Let's close the application now and let's open the project in EXE output. The first step is to specify the output path of the executable file of our application that will be created. For this, we go to application output and we have the field here that has not been updated. You need to place the executable file in the parent directory of the data directory. So we go to where the executable file already exists. We choose it and, for example, modify it to create our own executable. For example, we add one. There you go, the path has been updated. Let's move on to the other parameters. There are no particular changes here. You can change the rendering engine if you wish. You can customize all the parameters. We talked about the skin earlier. It is quite possible to change it. 
The app interface can also be fully customized and so on. Let's look at the PHP settings instead. We have chosen version 8.3, which is required for Laravel 11. Note that this only works from Windows 10 or 11, so be careful for those still using Windows 7. The last routing option here is important for Laravel. Indeed, exe output does not support apaches.taxes files, so you will not be able to redirect this way. This option, once checked, allows you to redirect requests from the various empty directories to the main router script index.php, which is used notably by Laravel. The PHP extensions are normally already pre-configured according to Laravel's recommendations. If you need other extensions, you can activate them with one click. For example, the image extension, we activate it and it will be available. No need to modify the php.ini file. And even if you needed to, you could do it here. Finally, for Laravel, you need to tell exe output not to compile all the source files. This is done in the file manager. On the left, you have the directory tree, and on the right, all the files in the selected directory. For the Laravel application, exclude the four directories that will remain outside the executable file. Start with vendor, select it, choose properties, and ensure the option keep external files and copy them to the data subdirectory is enabled. Confirm with OK and re repeat for storage, public, and database. You can refresh the file list if you have added files to the application. Click on the update option. There is no change here, but it will be automatically updated. That's it for the parameters. Now, compile the application to create the executable file and then test it. Let's go. Here is the compilation log. Everything went well. We also have the path to the application specified earlier so we can test it. Just a few more moments. And here, the application has opened as expected. Now that we have covered the main steps to create the application, let's look at some additional points. First, how to distribute it. It's easy. You have a button to deploy the application. Choose to create an installer or export to a zip archive. The zip archive is the fastest. Just enter a name. It will compress all the files, including the external files in the data directory, into a single zip file that you can distribute to your clients. Given the number of files, it may take a while. Once the progress box is closed, the file is created. Let's take a look. Indeed, here it is. As you can see, we have the executable file and the data directory containing the external files. Next, let's move on to Artisan. Normally, Artisan requires a PHP distribution to function. However, in this case, exe output manages it. So, during the design phase, we cannot run Artisan normally. That's why we created a standalone Artisan. In your application's directory, you will find the artisan.exe file that you can invoke via the command line. Open a terminal. Type the artisan command as usual. There you go, you find the various available artisan commands. You can generate, for example, a new key like here. And here, the application has a new key stored in the dotinf. Finally, if you want to create your own standalone artisan or modify it, we have provided the project file that you can open and compile yourself.